Greetings internet, my name is Chris and I'm gonna show you the guide for, uh, let's see what it's called, Relics of Somerset, uh, which takes place in the Somerset chapter for ESO. Uh, first I'm gonna show you how to actually acquire the uh, intro quest that gives you the items you need, um, because it's kinda hard to, to sort of find it. At least I had a little bit of trouble uh, finding it to begin with. So let, me, let me make sure I'm on the right bar as well here. Okay, so it's like the entrance to it is right next to the uh, exit. Um, if you, oh my god! If you want to go back to uh, to Somerset, um, and we are right now in Arteum. You can see it right here. Uh, you initially access this through the main quests, the very first step, or the very first uh, quest in the entire main quest, and it sends you to this place, and you basically just enter into Arteum. As soon as you enter Arteum, you get the Way Shrine, and that basically enables you to do this. Um, and that's that's all. You just need to to do the main quest, the very first step, and then you can do this. Also again, let me probably let me just show it again. It's right here, right next to the crafting wish shrine. This right here is where you leave back to Somerset, and this right here is where the museum is, or the vault rather. So we're just gonna go down these steps here. Also, if you look in the ceiling, you can see this uh, this skeleton up here was shown in the trailer I think anyway so this guy gives you the quest I'm just gonna go through it if you if you want to listen to stuff like that you can go through it yourself uh, but basically the story of this is that um, thieves have stolen all these relics of which there are 20 and they're basically all cursed relics which has kind of a fun twist to it so basically we just copy the book and he gives us the uh, the guide here that we can then quick slot onto our uh, onto our bar let's do this actually all right so now I can just open it every time I, I hit my uh, quick slot uh, key on all right so for the first one the lantern of lies it says the lantern of lies with malicious glow can be found by the rocks of Welkin Cove within the crevice of coral stone where coral crabs have made their home. All right, so the first one uh, starts in the very, uh, very uh, southwest of, of Somerset. All right, so we're nearing the the uh, first relic right now. You can just see I traveled to Eleanor and there's a world boss down here, Welkin, uh, Welkin Cove, which is the same thing referenced in the first hint. So we're just going to ride past the uh, world boss. And it should be here, I think. Yep. Right here. And they're basically all in these little chests. And it's the Lantern of Lies. And you can see when you pick them up, uh, they have various effects. Anyway, the second piece is the Heart of Indric, and it says, The Heart of Indric near water deep lies behind walls of Satorn Keep. Behind trees numbered one and three, one can find this relic easily. And the, the rhyming is a little bit, a little bit off, but it's no matter. So it's right over here. We're just going to ride around this way. Okay, you can see we're just passing Satorn Keep right now. And you have to go this way around because this is blocked by mountain. And we just ride down towards the water. Ah, here. All right, so it's a, a like a little, little nook. That's kind of hard to spot. Just around this little uh, bump on the map. And this up here is Satorn Keep. And you've still got Eleanor right here, and this is where we picked up the first one. I mean, it's the heart of Entrick.
The third piece is the silver tongue quill, and it says, The relic of compulsive note sits next to a ready boat. Search the alien or dock's rightmost pier, for the silver tongue quill sits near. And it's right up here, on the very edge of this little divot on the map. Alright, so you see we're at the Eleanor docks, just straight north of where we were before. And we're just right to the end of this pier. There's a ready boat. And here's the dead drop. And this is the silver tongue quill. You see this one fears you around. I can't actually do anything until it ends. All right, there we go. The fourth one is the unraveling staff. There's a problem with the tooltip that calls it the unraveling wand, but it is very much a staff. And it says, in Relenthal, home of players great, the unraveling staff lies in wait. Beneath a bridge by a gentle creek, you'll find the relic that you seek. And you can see we've got Relentho over here, and it's literally right on top of the marker. You can see again. Actually, I can't zoom any further in. This is the Relentho marker. Here's the bridge. And it's basically just right under the bridge. South of Aldmora Ruins. East of where we just picked up the other one. You can see it calls it the Unraveling Wand, even though it is an Unraveling Staff. And for some reason it turns you, or it cocoons you. Okay, next one is the Skull of Minor Cursing. And it says, near Relentho Way Shrine sits a skull without a spine. The Skull of Minor Cursing hides on cliff's edge near sinkhole wide kind of a stretch again with the with the rhyming scheme here but uh yeah but it's it's right here so they're all basically going uh oh, i can't go through there also the frame rate is just really bad in this area uh, but yeah they're basically all going like from south to north and then it'll flip over to the other side of the island and then go north to south so we have to go up and around the sinkhole, if I remember correctly. Yeah, but should be right up here. And here it is. You can see there's a sinkhole, and there's the bridge we were just at. Again, this is where it is. We've got Rusefeld Heights Way Shrine over here, and Relenthal. And this is the Skull of Minor Cursing. Let's see, the next piece is the Shadow Cutter Blade. And it says, The Shadow Cutter Blade was hauled by Jacket Stone and Waterfall. East of the ruins of Almora hides this red relic of deadly aura. Uh, east, so it should be right here, I think. I th we can actually see it from here. Um, and it's kind of another sinkhole-like thing. Although it's calling it a uh, jagged waterfall. But you see it's right here. Again, we were literally just over there. So, north of the Roosevelt Heights Way Shrine, east of Valmora. Is the Shadow Cutter Blade. This one can potentially kill you if you don't break out of it. Oh, I don't actually have any heals, so it did kill me. Cool. <laughs> uh, I was doing these on another character, uh, and that character had heals. So I hit what I thought was a heal and turned out not to be one. Okay. Let's see, the next item is the Soul Keeper's Urn. And it says, the Soul Keeper's Urn was laid to rest in town that's... N okay, so there's some wrong grammar here, I think. 
in town that's either east nor west. I think it should be neither. Neither east nor west? I'm not sure though. Uh, behind Roosevelt's grand estate, you'll find his relic hides and wait. Um, the term behind uh, is used rather incorrectly here, I think. I mean, it's sort of behind, but it's a very loose meaning of the word. Because it's not straight behind, it's up on this hill here. Which made it a little bit easy to miss. But here it is. You can see we were just over here. And here's Roosevelt. It's, it's like right at the edge of this little thing on the map. And it's the Soul Keeper's Urn. This one's kind of funny. Alright, let's see. The next one is the Chest of Condemnation. The Chest of Condemnation overlooks one of Evan Stadman's burbling brooks. See a broken archway there to find this cursed relic rare. And that is like right over here. Now uh, you can see we're passing Evan Stadman up here is Cloudrest. And we basically just follow the stream. This one is also kind of easy to miss if you don't know what you're looking for. But it mentions, mentions a broken archway, which is what we have right here. You can see this is where it is, straight west of Cloudrest. And just a, this little corner in the waterway. It's the chest of condemnation. The next one is the never-ending scroll, and it says, Near the Illumination Academy hides another relic of tragedy. You'll find a never-ending scroll besides the bridge that has no toll. And that's right here. Okay, we're coming up to the Illumination Academy here, and you've got like this little fork in the road, and there's a, a bridge right next to it. And we just swim along here. Let's see if I can even get up. Yep, there we go. Basically, it's right under this tree. And south of Illumination Academy. And north of Keel Splitter's Nest. It's the never ending scroll. Okay, the next piece is the inescapable helm, and it says, Within the ruins of Korgrat Waste, the inescapable helm awaits. Look, look beneath the twisted tree, near water flowing from the sea. And that's right here. You can see we've got the Korgrat Waste, and the Crystal Tower Waste Shrine, and the Abyssal Geyser of Korgrat. And it's just like in between these two. And it's the inescapable helm. Oh god. I just twisted my head around. <laughs> Full three, uh, 360 degrees. Okay, let's see. Next one. Uh, sticky fingered loot. Overlooking the Coral Queen in a small forest so serene, the sticky fingered loot shall be hidden near a royal hatchery. That one's also kind of a stretch, let's be honest. But it's right here. Alright, so this one is a little bit tricky to enter. There's really only one way you can enter it. Well, okay, there might be two, but the other way is kind of like out of bounds and really not a very reliable way to go through. But basically you have to... Uh, I think this is the right way. Yeah, you have to enter through here. And you go through this little crack in the wall. And then it's right here. Uh, you can see down here is the world boss. Um, the other way you can get in here, I think, is by like jumping over the rocks over there or something like that. Uh, I accidentally did it that way, but you were pretty much out of bounds and it was a little bit glitchy. Uh, anyway, this is the sticky finger dude. 
It spawns like a little rain cloud above you. Alright, the next one is a fan of false face. This is also the thing you get as a uh, reward for doing this. Uh, and it says, a northern beach by waterfall, placed against a stony wall, beyond where angry griffins pace, hides the, hides the fan of false face. And this one is all the way over on the other side. So we're gonna go all the way over here. I think it's like right here, sorry. Okay, you can see we're coming up to the griffin run world boss over here. Um, and basically what we're gonna do is go down to the beach, uh, which you can do quite conveniently from here. And we just have to go through this little opening right here. You can see we've got the waterfall right there. It's right here. This is the fan of false face, which turns you into a monkey, of course. Okay, the next one is the Pillow of Sweet Dreams. Uh, this one by far took me the longest to find, um, and I'll go into why uh, when we get there. But it says, between a ruined Rennie home and a pass of past kings bold, near Rock Knoll, beneath purple leaves, you'll find the Pillow of Sweet Dreams. Again, kind of a stretch. I don't know how I'm supposed to uh, do the inflection on on, uh, on those uh, words to make it rhyme, but definitely not getting it. And I think it's right here. All right, you can see right now, we just went a little bit south. Here's the King's Haven Pass, which I believe is the pass that's mentioned right here, Pass of Past Kings. Um, and over here is the Dereni Acropolis. So in between is what it says. Um, and then it says, uh, let's see, it says under purple leaves and near a rock knoll. So you see, this is a, I guess this is a rock knoll, but there's no purple leaves in the area. So this one took me, I think three hours to find because I was looking under purple trees and then just happened to stumble upon this. A uh, little bit stupid, but that's just how it is. So you can see it's right here by the Griffin Airy which is straight east of King's Haven. It's the Pillow of Sweet Dreams, which of course puts you to sleep. Next, we have the Mirror of Fatal Premonition, and it says, Watch by Harmonious Monastery at the base of the tower which sits by the sea. Yeah, I just can't make that rhyme. Whatever. At the end of a wall that holds back the tides, the mirror of fatal premonition hides. I like to rhyme with hides, because I guess it's easy to rhyme with it. But basically, it's right down here. And this is the wall that holds back the tides. You see, we've got the tower right here. And then we just go around it. And it's right here. And it's the mirror of fatal premonition. Again, right right here, it's really easy to find it. Next, we've got the monochrome paintbrush, and it says, Beyond the confines of Shimmerine's walls, where you can hear the seabird calls, uh, beside stacked stone with mossy blush, awaits the monochrome paintbrush. And it's right here. And you can see we've got mossy stone, and here's the dead drop. Okay, I was a little bit off, but yeah, it's just right in this little nook. Monochrome paintbrush. All right, the next one says, oh, it's the hourglass of perceived time. And it says, the hourglass of perceived time Waits by eastern water brine. Hidden within the forest of coral, you'll find this relic so immoral. Uh, this one is also a little bit misleading. Uh, it should be right here. Reason why it's misleading is because it's uh, 
not actually within the coral forest, as you'll see in a moment. All right, so you can see here's the uh, Silver World Way Shrine. Sounds like someone with a speech impediment, like that one kid from Fallout. Oh, what's it called? Bowie, I think. Hi, my name's Bowie. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, we've got the Garden of the Sacred Numbers, and it's basically right here. This is the coral forest, uh, and this is very much outside the coral forest, uh, but it's right here. You see, like it's kind of hard to tell really where it is. There's a little divot in the road. It's behind two rocks. There's a weird looking thing with a tree on it. It almost looks like a face. Like that could be an ear and that was an eye maybe. I don't know. But anyway, it's right here. And it's the hourglass of perceived time. I guess it makes us move slower or something. Okay, the next one uh, says... Alright, it's the jaunt of jilted lies. Oh, jaunt of the jilted. Not lies. That's not included. <laughs> Right, it says, southeast of where a geyser spews, but the shipwreck of a smuggling crew, the jaunt of jilted lies and wait, this relic of horrific gate. Horrific gate. And it's right here on this little right, You can see there's a little ro uh, road, a little rock with a slice cut off and a tree. And it's just right in this little, little section of the, the island. And it's the jolt of jil of the jilted, jolt of the jilted. That makes you dance. All right, the next one is the ever filling chalice, and it says, "North of the clearing, Axelon Alt, a relic of great thirst was halt. The ever filling chalice lies behind a beast of feathery hide." This one is, uh, let's see, it's right here. All right, you can see right here we've got uh, Alexon Alt. And then straight north of that, we've got this little tiny plateau with a single griffin on it. We're just gonna sneak past. And it's right here. See, so straight north of Alexon Alt, west of Eastern Pass. It's the ever filling chalice. <laughs> okay. Uh, second to last one. And it's the chest plate of desiccation. And it says The chest plate of desiccation awaits. Left of sun hold, holds mighty gates. Where white walls meet mossy stone. Sits this relic all alone. And that should be right here. Okay, you can see we've got Sunhold here. And it's one of the public dungeons. And it, then we go left. We've got some white walls here, but those are not the one we're looking for. Nope, oh, right here. Do you see it's... You go left and then just keep going until you get to the second set of pillars. It's the chest plate of desiccation, which turns you to stone. All right. The last one is the shattering sword, and it says, "Right outside or Tam's door." South of the temple where the imp soar, the shattering sword awaits you there. This tricky relic of fight on fear. And it's right up here, which conveniently takes us back to the beginning. Well, back to our Tam, basically. Uh, you can see right here we've got the keep of the elven forces, which is where the entrance to our Tam is. And we just go right behind it. It should be right here, behind this stone. And you can see it's just south of Shimmerine, 
And this is the last piece. Shattering sword. Now we just go back to our tame. I think this time we'll enter from the top. Just because we can. Plus we'll get a better look at the skeleton in the ceiling. Yep. Alright, you can see now there's all these glowing lights and basically that's just where you have to place everything. And last one. There we go. Okay. So there's not supposed to be anything in this. Weird that it's here though. I wonder if maybe this is something for later. Although you can't even read the inscription on it. Anyway, that's basically, that's it. Like there's nothing more as far as I can tell. Uh, you can see it gives you a furniture piece. That's the f uh, fan of false face, which is one of the things we picked up. And it gives you a title, finder of lost relics. There it is. You can see when we interact with this guy, he just goes on about the same stuff again. I think there's a few more NPCs, like this guy right here. And there's a woman right here that you can talk to. And there's a little weird creature right here. It's like a mouse or something. Let's see. Yeah, like a, a mouse with a backpack. Looks pretty interesting. Um, that's it. Um, I hope you found this guide useful. And thanks for watching.